Hi guys, I'm Sianu Jorota. Welcome to yet another question, yet another MCQ of financial management. The chapter that we all have selected today is capital structure. On our YouTube channel, you can be getting four category of resources apart from all the RTPs and like, you know, the solution to the past papers, the moment examination questions are held. Okay, we're the only one across India who dares to launch a complete solution to every question of costing the moment the paper is held. But apart from that, you basically can be getting four types of resources from our side. If you're there in CA final, then every MCQ of SCPM that can be coming in exams is there with logic then for ca inter costing all mcqs are solved on our youtube channel for ca inter costing complete free detailed lectures of each and every question that can be coming in exams even in future is all covered up you will be getting complete soft copy of our books you get summary of every question rankings of every question everything that is possible is covered up okay and then you are going to be getting free MCQs for financial management. We try to give logic of everything that you will not be able to get elsewhere. Okay, so ensure that you try to spend time in seeing all the MCQs and you try to answer the MCQs by your comments. Okay, whenever you are watching the videos. start of the question for today a critical assumption of net operating income approach to valuation is okay that debt and equity levels remain unchanged okay second one that dividends increase at a constant rate that ko remains constant regardless of changes in leverage leverage can mean debt fourth one that interest expense and taxes are included in the calculation okay now see there were three approaches to capital structure that became very famous. The first one was a net income approach. Net income approach always told that KD is lower than KE. So therefore, a company in this case should try to increase the debt that will ultimately help to reduce overall cost of capital. But that was NI approach. Then there was NOI approach that this question is all about. And then there was a traditional approach. By the way, if you know the answer, this is the time to be commenting. Okay, so let me now uh, continue with the traditional approach. Traditional approach told that whenever you keep on introducing debt, initially KO might start to be falling, but then after that it will start to be increasing also. That capital structure is best where KO will be least. That was whatever was told by the traditional guys. But then NOI approach came, net operating income approach. Later on, Modiglani and uh, Miller also joined this particular approach. These guys were always of the view that it does not matter what is the level of debt and what is the level of equity. KO ultimately is nothing but return on investment. And return on investment always remains same irrespective of debt equity mix. If you have to try to explain through graph, it is something like this. On X axis, we try to be having debt. On Y axis, we try to be having KO. No matter you increase the debt or in decrease the debt, KO will always remain constant. Only it will not be changing. It will not be changing. It will be a line that will always remain same. It will be a line that will run parallel to X axis. So therefore, a critical assumption of NOI theory was that KO remains same irrespective of debt equity mix or KO remains same irrespective of the changes in the leverage. Leverage means debt. So out of A, B, C, D, A, the debt and equity level remain unchanged. No, equity levels will keep on changing. Debt level will keep on changing. B, dividends increase at a constant rate. In fact, the dividends remain constant. Beta. Not, they don't increase at a constant rate. They will remain constant. The D, interest, expense and taxes are included in the calculation. Taxes are ignored in NOI theory. Okay, we say that tax rate is zero. Okay, so answer that is correct is C, that KO remains constant regardless of the change in leverage. That should be the correct answer. And that was my explanation also. So that is the correct answer. That's it from my side for today. I'll see you next time in FM with another question. Till then, take care guys. Bye.